ADA, we start with one of our charges. I want to give you a quick update. And if you refer to what analysis, the price was in here. And we mentioned if the price could break the lowest price of this correction, we can expect the price drop to 1.4. Even we mentioned we prefer the price drop to 1.4 before we get the reversal. Anyway, the price dropped quite a lot, more than what we expected. And uh, because since most of the, the chart, they have this move, all right? By the way, if we move to daily chart, even based on daily chart in my last analysis, I mentioned with the breakout of 1.4, we can expect the price drop to 1.0. We can see the breakout of 1.2 following by 1.0. And as we can see, the price drop almost 1.09, all right? Because we mentioned with the breakout of 1.4, we can expect the price tag the lowest price of this correction. Anyway, the price dropped quite a lot in a single day. Uh, right now, I still be looking for the reversal since we know we get this drop for a lot of the, uh, most of the, for the crypto market. All right. By the way, we move to forward chart and based on forward chart, still we see we have a divergence. That's mean if we get any opportunity for buy from now, we'll take it. But we should know that what I explained, any trade for buy, if it doesn't move in our direction, we should know how to manage it. Similar to what we get here. We get a trade for buy. We have been looking for the reversal. It gives us a profit, but it couldn't break the 1.8 as what we mentioned. That's mean if, if we get any opportunity for buy, if it is not moving our direction, at least we should move our sub loss to break even if you want to let, I mean, keep the trade to be open. In case there is a reversal, the price reject and reverse. Um, that's mean drop, at least we are safe. Anyway, after we get this drop, for sure we're looking for the reversal, but for sure we have to see the, I mean, we can expect the price to consolidate here before we get the reversal. I don't think the possibility for the price to reverse as a sharp or a straight line is really less. And mostly we can expect the price to give, give us a decorrection drop before we get the next reverse. Even the next drop, it may doesn't retest the lowest price of this move. But we have to, mostly we can expect the correction as a deeper correction in relative to this for the next drop, even as a short term drop before we see the reversal. That's why. From now, if you get any opportunity for we'll buy, we'll take it. But we should be aware of that. The price is, the, I mean, we can expect the price consolidate here for at least, uh, we call it longer time before we get the reversal because it depends with which time frame we're looking for. Anyway, if we move to forward chart, uh, one hour chart, this is what we can see. We can expect to see the continuation drop, then we see the reversal. That's why if we want to look for buy, we get any opportunity for buy from here we should consider as a short term. Mostly we have to see the reversal as a sharp move flag or correction before we take the trade. But at this point, all right, can we consider this one as a flag or correction relative to this? We can consider, but any trade for buy, as I mentioned, technically we don't see a really good trade, all right? But if anyone wants to look for trade or they wanna get a trade from this one, they should know that maybe this is not the one is going to reverse. All right, that's mean as long as they get into the profit, they should move their sub loss to break even. Anyway, we just follow the chart. We're looking for the reversal, but we, we prefer the price consolidate, as I mentioned. We prefer the price give us a correction here before we get the reversal. It can give us a better confirmation. Anyway, we just follow the chart. If I see any update, I will share. Thanks.